This experiment is an introduction to some of the apparatus that I'll be using in other demonstrations. So what have I got? Well, this is the important part. It's a square of cardboard with a square section cut out from the center. And over the back, I've taped some white paper. And in the middle of the paper, I put a drop of sunflower oil. Now the oil has been allowed to spread and dry and left a dark patch of grease. But you can see that this one is showing a dark patch of grease, whereas this one here is showing a bright patch. Why is this? Well, it's to do with the brightness of the light on the two sides of the grease spot. The version that you can see from the camera here shows that the intensity of the light on this side is greater than it is on that side. So that light comes through the grease spot and you see brightness. Now I can see the back of the grease spot and um, the back of the grease spot looks darkish because the light from this side is less bright than the light from that. And to give you an example of what I see, if I just put that down on the table there, you can see that because there's no light coming from underneath, the grease spot looks dark. Now let's have a look at this with the main light off. Okay, now you can see the grease spot there is bright. What does that mean? It means that the light coming from this side of the paper is brighter than coming from that side and the reason is because the two candles are at different distances. Now if I move this one closer in, got to be really careful because I can't really see what I'm doing very well. Let's put that there and take this one back about here. You can now see that here, because the light on, as it were, the back, which is this side, I don't you can see my hand is this side, it's dimmer that side because the candle has been moved further back. And so this side, the light shines on the grease spot and reflects, and the light coming through is less intense than the light falling on it, so it looks dark. And we can use this as a very, very simple method of comparing the intensities of the two candles in this case. Or if we had a small torch bulb, we could replace this with a torch bulb and a suitable power supply with an ability to change the power of the light. And we could then keep this at a fixed distance and look at the brightness of this compared with that. And the brightness of this, of course, will depend on the electrical power given to the lamp. It's called the grease spot photometer for, I think, obvious reasons.